Mozzarella is delicious and simple to make with just three ingredients. Today I'll be showing you how to make it at home. You'll need two liters of pasteurized non-homogenized milk, one milliliter of liquid rennet, and three quarters of a teaspoon of citric acid. I've found that liquid rennet works better than tablets. You can get this from your local cheesemakers. Let's get started. Dissolve three quarters of a teaspoon of citric acid in half a cup of water. Citric acid helps with the curdling process. Dilute one milliliter of rennet in 40 milliliters of water. The rennet is used to coagulate the milk. Add the milk to a heavy base pot over low heat then slowly add the citric acid solution while stirring. Continue to slowly heat the milk, stirring gently. Once the milk reaches around 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius, turn off the heat, add the rennet and stir for about 10 to 15 seconds. Let the mixture sit undisturbed for about 10 minutes. Now the curd should have separated from the whey. You can check with the knife, which should come out clean. The milk will have set and become a consistency like a custard in a tart that you can slice through. If it's not ready, leave for another five minutes. Cut the curds using a grid pattern into small pieces with a long knife. Turn the heat back on low and very gently mix the curds. Be careful as they can break apart easily if you rush this. Don't worry if your curd doesn't separate perfectly like this. It will still be okay to use even if it looks like this. They're just harder to work with. Continue until the temperature reaches 106 Fahrenheit or 41 Celsius, then turn the heat off. Hit that like button if you also find this oddly satisfying. Place a colander or cheesecloth lined bowl in the sink over a larger bowl to catch the whey. Carefully transfer the curds to the colander or cheesecloth. Add half a tablespoon of salt to the pot of whey and combine. Then reserve almost half the salted whey solution to cool in the fridge while you do the next steps. Turn the heat on low again to start heating up the whey to about 170 Fahrenheit or 75 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, allow the curds to drain for a few minutes until most of the liquid has been released. Gently squeeze the curds to remove the excess liquid. Once the whey has reached 170 Fahrenheit or 75 degrees Celsius, it's time to place the curds in for a few minutes. As the curds heat up, they'll start to become stretchy and smooth. Remove from the water, stretch and fold like so. Make sure to dip back into the hot whey to keep the cheese from cooling down too much. As you can tell from my pink hands, the whey is hot, so it's best to use cooking gloves to protect your hands. Do about four to seven folds. Don't overwork it. At this point, it should be looking smooth. It's now time to shape into balls. You can shape the curds into a ball by gently pressing and shaping them with your hands. Once again, try to keep them warm by dipping in the hot whey. That's the ticket. Take the cool bowl of salt away out of the fridge and place your mozzarella balls in for 15 minutes. Once cooled, your homemade mozzarella is ready to be enjoyed. Yeah. Hello, Will. And there you have it, your very own homemade mozzarella. You can use it in caprese salads, on pizzas, or simply enjoy it on its own. Subscribe for more tasty recipes. What a treat. Thanks for watching.